Convicting the innocent where criminal prosecutors go wrong, wrongful convictions are not rare accidents. Garrett uh, bases the book on the 250 DNA exonerations in the U.S., analyzing court records, police uh, files, and trial transcripts to uncover patterns. 250 DNA exonerations. What has this entire case been told about to you from day one? Oh, Brian Koberger's DNA is at the crime scene, remember? It was on that knife sheath. Single source DNA. They've got him plain as day. And yet, you've heard over and over again for two and a half years that we have been arguing about whether or not the, the feds violated laws by trying to establish a DNA profile. The defense, Ann Taylor, said over and over again, how did the, the DNA evidence on Brian Koberger double in size when the FBI got a hold of it, and yet you won't show us your work. You won't show us how you developed the DNA profile. So the the again, Othram Labs couldn't come up with a hit to Brian Koberger on the single source DNA. The FBI took over and they doubled the DNA profile in size, and then said, "Oh, by the way, the guy you're looking for is Brian Koberger. We got him." But then when it came down to, "Hey, let's discuss this in court," no, sir. We don't want to discuss how we got the DNA evidence in court because 250 DNA exonerations in the U.S., that's the focus of these books. 